Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got something really cool to talk about. Immutable Linux Distro Helium OS just dropped a big update and I'm excited to walk you through what's new. So let's dive in. What if you could have a super stable Linux system that updates atomically, boots from containers, and still feels familiar? Well, that's exactly what Helium OS is all about. And with the release of Helium OS 10, it's taken another step forward. All right, um, quick backstory. Helium OS is an atomic desktop distro built on Alma Linux. You might remember it skipped straight from version 9 to version 10, even though it's only its second full release. Kind of confusing, right? But the dev, Isaac Beverly, just made it official on July 28th. Helium OS 10 is now stable. Here's what's in the new release, kernel 6.12 from Alma Linux, signed for secure boot. So no more messing with UEFI settings just to try it. Zetch is now the default shell. And they've given it a nice minimal config out of the box. BTRFS is the default file system with an option for LUKS full disk encryption right in the installer. Big plus if you care about security. Docker comes pre-installed so you can spin up containers straight away. They've migrated their build system from bash scripts to Ansible YAML building bootable container images via Podman. And of course, a batch of bug fixes, no more stuttering with certain NVIDIA GPUs. And they've squashed that kernel panic issue when running specific system services. Um, one thing I really like about Helium OS is its boot key approach. Bootable containers that package not just your apps, but even the kernel. It's like super forward thinking for container tech. But they didn't chase the latest bleeding edge kernel. They stuck with an LTS kernel for reliability. As the dev put it, Helium OS is here for years, not just months. They even promised 10 years of support. That's awesome if you hate repeated upgrades. There's also talk of an edge edition in the release notes, uh, experimental builds with newer kernels for better hardware support. If you've got cutting edge gear, that could be worth checking out. Now, I haven't installed Helium OS 10 on my main rig yet, um, but I definitely plan to. Secure boot support and built-in encryption are huge selling points for me. My only concern? Right now, it's mostly a one-person project. What if Isaac gets busy and development stalls? Thankfully, because it's immutable, you can always pivot to Alma Linux or another compatible distro if needed. If you want to test drive Helium OS 10, Head over to their download page, spin it up in a VM or install it directly, your call, and let me know in the comments if you give it a try. All right, that's it for today's update on Helium OS 10. If you found this helpful, um, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the bell so you don't miss my hands-on review coming up soon. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.